Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my messy office. I have been redecorating and moving stuff around. My husband says I do it all the time, and it may or may not be true. I cannot be responsible for those results. <laughs> I'm constantly talking about taking personal responsibility, and I'm like, I didn't do it. Anywho, good morning. I wanted to touch base. I've been getting a ton of questions um, regarding morning routine and what do I do? What have I done in the last 15 years to keep me at the top of the ranks? What, um, you know, is going to enhance your life, I guess, really is the question. People ask me what I do, but really it's what can you do? Hi from Newfoundland. Welcome, welcome. Um, go ahead and, you know, tag, tag a friend, share this around. Um, I'm just going to move my mess here a little bit because you have no idea what's at my feet right now. But anywho, um, basic things that you can do in 2020 to seriously accelerate your results. Now, you'd think I would have brought my planner with me, which I did not, which is kind of crazy. It's downstairs in my work bag, but it's the first thing that comes out in the morning, which is why it's downstairs because I do my quiet time downstairs. So I'm going to share with you guys some simple steps. Um, first of all, if you're watching live, drop a one in the comments below. And if you're watching the replay, drop a two. So if you're live, drop a one in the comments below. The more interaction you give me, the more of my energy I'm going to give you. That's how it works. That's how life works. So drop a one if you are live, drop a two if this is a replay. Um, so what can you do? What can I do to increase our results, drastically increase our results in 2020? Well, let me ask you a couple questions first. Number one, what's your current morning routine? Like, think about your life. What do you do? When you roll out of bed, the alarm clock goes off. Are you up with gratitude? Are you uh, hitting snooze a thousand times? Are you uh, even aware or conscious of, of having a morning routine and what that could look like? And I feel like, you know, for a lot of my life, I didn't live consciously, meaning I wasn't really awake to what needed to happen. Another Newfoundlander. Hey, Josh, I went to elementary school with Josh. It was so fun. We skidooed up mountains and did crazy stuff. It was totally fun. So welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here. So morning routines are pretty simple. Um when you know how to do them. And so I'm going to give you a simple structure that I use. And by the way, I've been doing this now for literally 20 years, the last 15 of which I've been building large companies, actually multiple companies, uh, building inside and outside of the network marketing space. We flip houses in Texas. Uh, we do investing. We teach people how to trade stocks. We do a lot of uh, Forex and stocks. We do a lot of stuff, right? So um, the morning routine is super, super powerful. And I feel like, you know, it shifted from when the time my kids were little to it being now, but it's always maintain a similar structure. And that structure is pretty basic. Um, really, number one, when, I, when my alarm goes up, off, I get up. Like I am up and my feet are hit the floor. Like I don't hit snooze a thousand times. I used to do that. Um, and a trainer, one of the best trainers in the world, actually, personal development people, um, said to me or said to the group, you know, when you hit snooze, really all you're doing is delaying the inevitable and you're telling your brain that you don't actually want to do your day. So snooze is like my enemy. So I learned uh, through a process to literally put my feet on the floor. I taught my kids the same thing. Um, and it's interesting what I never fought with them about getting up. It was like, hey, you know, feet on the floor. They knew exactly what that meant. So that's a good thing to teach your kids. It's a good thing to teach yourself. Of course, we want to model whatever we're doing. So number one, when I wake up, you know, try to fill myself, remind myself of all the things I'm grateful for. The fact that I get another day, the fact that I'm healthy-ish, the fact that, um, you know, uh, I have food on my table, a roof over my head, the basics. So it's gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Then I get up literally like that takes like two seconds. My feet are on the floor. I go downstairs. I literally make myself a coffee, have a huge glass of water with lemon. I grab my uh, personal development. Um, and I do read every single day without fail. If I'm traveling, it's on my phone. If I'm at home, it's typically a book. I'm always reading a personal development book and a business development book. So I'm always sharpening my skills. What skills are you currently sharpening? What development are you currently doing? Like, you know, if you think about um, your life and where you are now, 2020, you want it to be different. You want your finances to look different. You want your schedule to look different. You want your freedom, whatever it is that you want. Um, maybe you want to pay off your debt. Maybe you want to 
um, learn to invest. Maybe you want to learn to grow an online business. Maybe you want an online brand. Maybe you have a network marketing company you want to grow it. I don't know what you want. Maybe you want your kids to start behaving. Um, you have to get better. I have to get better. And so the process of that is a daily effort, right? Putting in the effort every day. And so there are lots of different books that I read from lots of different people. I'm typically start studying some sort of marketing book um, and, of course, a personal development book. A couple of books that I love are uh, As a Man Thinketh by James Allen, uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, uh, The Magic of Thinking Big. I mean, there's so many. I hate to start listing them because there's literally so many. If you have a favorite book, drop it in the comments below. I really want to know. I'm always open to reading new books that I haven't read before. The Four Agreements is another good book. So drop it in the comments below if you have a book that's literally impacted you or you've taken a message away from. And then, of course, on the business development side, I move then to my planner. Now, my planner is pretty straightforward. Um, what I do each and every day. Oh, here. Here. We can use this. Ah, thank God. Okay, so I go through my daily routine. Like, so here you can see this is a family day. This is family time or me time. This is the gym. This is work time. This is the purple. Oh, is lunch. I scheduled in my lunch because I have a bad habit of not stopping for food. And to be healthy, we need to eat consistently, right? Work time, family time, work time. So, and you can see over here, it looks a little differently. And then, so I have, this is in my planner, but this is just a sample so that's what my week looks like. So now I can see at a glance when and where I'm doing uh, what I'm doing and where I can fit stuff in. I also create for myself a list of micro actions. I don't know if you guys can see that. A list of micro actions that create mega results. And so if I say I want to go to the gym five times a week, I can easily say see throughout the week if I'm actually taking the actions that are going to get to me towards my goal. Most people don't not get results because they don't want results. Most people don't get results because they don't take the action to get the result. They think about it. They want to do it. They beat themselves up. They do a whole bunch of stuff, but they don't take action. Uh, Regina says, Jim Rowan, the five major pieces to the life puzzle. Jim Rowan is my all-time probably favorite uh, trainer. He's amazing. So if you haven't, anything by Jim Rohn is so good. So you guys, that's one of the things that I do. And then you guys can see at the top, I, there's a to-do list. I put my top five things that I must do today. Now, if I can, I fill this out at night, but typically I'm much clearer in the morning. And so this is what I do each and every morning, which keeps me on track. And then I think about you guys, like what content am I bringing? What does my team need? What does my tribe need to grow their businesses? What do you guys need for personal development? And then I deliver that content. And so, you know, that's a process. My, my morning routine, that part of it is about an hour. I pray, I study, I read, I meditate, I get quiet, I breathe, I listen, right? If you're listening to your soul or you're listening to God or you're listening to whatever you want to call it, the answers are there for you in your next step. But we have to get quiet and listen, be still and know, right? Be still and know. So it's really important to do that. Then the next thing I do, literally, you guys, I get up, I deal with my family and I go to the gym. It's really important to move your body. If you don't want to go to the gym, go for a walk. If you don't want to go for a walk, do something at home, jump around, dance. I don't care. Move your body. Super, super important to get the energy going. Life is all about energy. And if you don't have energy, how are you ever going to attract energy? You know, I love that you have the choice every day to be a Tigger or an Eeyore, right? Tigger or Eeyore, which one are you? So when we think about the options, I prefer to be a Tigger and I want Tiggers around me. I don't want to be surrounded by Eeyores. If you're currently surrounded by Eeyores, you need to adjust your energy. Look at you. Look in the mirror, right? The only common denominator in all of our relationships is us. So if you guys can, you know, get to the gym, move your body somehow and make sure you're eating good, clean food, drinking tons of water. The number one thing that people do to increase their health in instantly is drink water. And I think it's an ounce for every body pound that you pound of body weight that you have. So for me, it's a lot of water, right? So, and that really helps to get um, going. So easier for me to get my time in the morning than at night. Oh my gosh, there's no mother on the planet that's going to get any time at night because by the time you're done running the entire world, how are you going to even have a brain cell left to do quiet time at night? I choose to do other things at night, like watch inspirational videos. Um, and that's a whole nother conversation about my routine at night. But if you guys go do your quiet time in the morning, you learn to grow. 
Each and every day we need to be studying. Each and every day we need to be checking in with ourselves. Each and every day we need to be asking, how can I be better today? Each and every day we need to be asking ourselves, what can I do better? What do the people around me need? How can I serve them? You guys understand that you've been given this life as a gift. And what you do with this life, what you do with this is a gift back right? Like you have been given all of this. We live in the richest part of the world. Literally, we make more money than is humanly possible to even think about. Like we all have that opportunity. And if your income isn't where you want it to be, don't blame the people around you. Don't blame your boss. Don't blame your job. Don't blame your, what do you, uh, what do you call that? Uh, market. That's not the word, but anyways, don't blame your niche. You needs change, right? Like, just like I want to level up, I have to change. One of the things that I'm working on is literally, I'm a super intense person. Like, I'm like this all the time. How I'm talking to you right now, I'm literally like this all the time. So I have to remember to have fun and be fun and smile, right? Because I'm like, naturally, I do do that and I goof around and I have fun. But when I'm working, I tend to be super focused and people come around and I don't really make room for them. And so if I want to build a team, I have to make room for them. So what is it that you need to change in you? What can you do differently? And finally, you guys, keep a journal. Journaling is so powerful. Write down what you're not. And I'm not talking journaling like I feel sad today because I'm talking about, you know, I'm so happy and grateful now. I'll just tell you what mine is. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a C1000, which is a shortcut for the rank that I'm running for. I'm so grateful that I'm a C1000 making a million dollars a month that I've impacted over 500 families that have all gone to multiple six figures and more. I'm teaching people how to literally grow their wealth, that my training company is over a million dollars, seven figures every single year, and it is empowering people to live their best lives. I am the best shape of my life. I'm deeply in love with my husband, and we travel the world speaking globally to impact and inspire generations that can change the way they live with a simple decision. And so I write that down every single day. Why do you think it comes rolling off my tongue? Because I literally write it down every single day. So are you guys focused on where you're going? In the morning, if you're worried about your day, if you're worried about what's going on, if you're thinking about all the things that are wrong, guess what you're going to attract? More wrong. Why? Because your vibration is low. You want your life to change, change your vibration. We got to change what we think about, change what we speak with our mouths. And like literally, you guys, what we say, like thoughts become things. One of the things that you start to learn in personal development is thoughts become things. So we, you, I have to take personal responsibility for our thoughts because out of the thoughts, or out of the mouth, so to speak, the heart speaks. So the saying is, out of the mouth, the heart speaks. But truly what that means is, out of the mouth, it comes your thoughts. Whatever you're thinking about becomes reality. And if you're thinking about and speaking about, you know, what's wrong, how sick you feel, how your business isn't going well, how, you know, uh, that person hurts you, rehashing hurts. You can't rehash the past. You guys, there's literally, um, I don't know if you guys have heard Einstein's theory around time. It's the rel relativity, relativity theory. But basically what they're saying is that our time existence only happens inside of us. Your perspective of time and mine is totally different. This next hour for you may be the longest hour of your life and it may be the shortest of mine. Time itself does not exist. It's just a measurement that we've created to keep ourselves in order. Now, what that means is all of your memories, your past experiences, they literally are melded together. You have created a timeline for that. So we, you and I, if we're going to move forward, cannot be constantly rehashing the past. That means that the people that have hurt us, we have to forgive them. The people that have done us wrong, we have to release them. You know, the, the things that have gone wrong. Maybe you failed in business before. Maybe, uh, you know, you tried something and it didn't work. Maybe, you, you know, and here's the thing. You want to know if you're judging somebody? Ask yourself, do I want to bless them? Do I want to bless them in some way? Because you guys understand that when you hold on to all of that stuff, that's not that you punishing them. You're punishing you. Keep no Make no mistake. You are literally creating a prison around yourself that keeps you enslaved, not them. They don't even know you're thinking about them, nor do they care, especially if they're hurtful people. So 
You have the option to let go of the past, release it, forgive it, let it go and move into today, which is happening right now, like this minute right now. Even the fact that I'm speaking and you're receiving these words 40 seconds later, a minute later shows that time is not really a thing. Like you think you're live with me, but technically you're 40 seconds lagging behind. So I just encourage you guys, make today your best day. Make today the day that you decide to let it all go. Let the past go. Let those people go. Let the wounding go. Let the hurt go. You know, make today your day. Get up in the morning. Put your feet on the floor. Be grateful for today. Make a decision. You want to lose weight? Make a decision. You want to, uh, I don't know, build your business? Make a decision. You want to make your marriage better? Make a decision. The common denominator is you. When you become better, everything becomes better. When you change, everything changes. So stop, let's stop as a people pointing our fingers and let's stop keeping our talents to ourselves. Many of you have been so focused on you and your problems and your stuff and your health and your lack of money and your lack of what are you going to do and your kids and your stuff that you haven't lifted your head to look at the people around you. And you and I were born for a relationship. Tell me that that's not true, that we're not born for a relationship. Of course, we're born to be in relationship with each other. So who can you give to today? Who can you serve today? Who can you inspire today? Who can you encourage, compliment, connect with today? Those are the things that we need to be doing to feel fulfillment in our own hearts. It doesn't come when we're focused on ourselves. What comes when we're focused on ourselves is depression, anxiety, and loathing, right? So we have to get outside of ourselves. So that's my morning routine. I know I went on up on a rant. Shocking. Um, but I really want you guys to know that 2020, like we're already how far into 2020? One twelfth of 2020 is gone, dude. Like it is gone. In two days, it's going to be the second month of 2020. What has changed for you? And so there's a couple things. Number one, if you haven't done so and you want to grow a business, you can hop over into my Lead Crusher Challenge. It's a five-day challenge that allows for you to learn to generate leads on social media. This will work for a local business, online business, coach, mentor, don't care what you are, network marketing. It is ways to generate leads online. We do 100 leads in five days. Many people come away with three, 400 leads. Um, and then I'm going to show you what to do with those leads, how to track them, the tools that you need, what to post, how to use social media to your benefit. If you've got a small business, this is something you should definitely be doing. Um, but you guys, that Lead Crusher Challenge starts on Monday. Day. So you're going to be able to hop in there and it's totally free. Um, we start Monday, we go to Friday and you're going to get a, a an assignment each day. We go through all the training. So if you want to learn how to grow your social media, like really grow it, get leads coming to you, get a brand online that you can be proud of, you can go ahead and get into that Lead Crusher Challenge. Um, it is a totally safe environment. So if you actually are in network marketing, you can invite your teams. You know, no recruiting is allowed in there. It's like literally the safe place where people can learn to be better. Uh, I know many of you have done this before. If you've actually done the Lead Crusher Challenge before, can you drop a five in the comments for five day challenge? Drop a five um, because I know like Regina, you've done it, I believe. Um, so it is so powerful. And just so you guys know, there's like 15,000 leads generated in five days. It's so crazy. So we have a lot of fun in there. But more importantly, you're going to learn how to think about your message, your tribe, how to connect, what they need, how to serve, give yourself some encouragement, right? So if you can learn to grow your business on social media, I believe that, you know, business needs to be high tech and high touch, right? Many of you have been to my live events. You love the live events and that's where we connect. But many of you like the online stuff because you're far away. So I'm going to teach you how to grow a high tech, high touch business. You're going to learn how to generate leads and then turn those leads into raving fans. You're going to learn how to connect with them off a line in a way that really matters where you can start maybe hosting your own events. I don't know. But I'm welcoming you, of course. If you just jumping on, please, if you're watching live, drop a one. If you're watching the replay, drop a two. Mm -hmm. And go back and watch this because I really think that when you start to understand the power of social media, the power of your 
uh, power hour in the morning, how you can grow your business, how to get results in 2020. Like literally everything I covered in this video is exactly what you need to do. So simple, so easy to do, and so easy not to do. So with that, you guys go over, you can get into the Lead Crusher Challenge by going to melaniegreeno.com slash LCC, Lead Crusher Challenge, melaniegreeno.com slash LCC. I'll drop it in the comments below as well. And please share this video. Like I really, my goal, um, and many of you have been with me working on this goal, we want to impact 1 million lives with the message that you can be, do, and have anything you desire. You just have to become more to do more. So I'm really excited. I do a ton of free training. If you're not in my free Facebook group, you can also jump in there. When you register for the Lead Crusher Challenge, you're going to get a spot in the free group, and we do training and all kinds of stuff in there that's super fun. Um, but I'm really excited. I'm excited to help you reach out, grow your brand, grow your tribe, and really make an impact not only with your day, but with your life. So with that, be blessed, you guys, okay? Don't forget to share the video, tag a friend, do whatever, and click follow and see first so you get notified. I'm going to be doing a ton of lives, a ton of free training, so you guys are going to get that, obviously, for free if you get the notifications, and you can follow me over on Instagram at Melanie Greeno now. So with that, you guys, be blessed. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Have the best day you ever had, and remember, your life matters. What you do today totally matters. So we'll talk to you soon. Oh, it wants me to continue, but I'm going to hit finish. Bye. Possibly.